Not saying that TSA is shysty or, but. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a great, 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 great video. We are, oh, let me, let me not get ahead of myself. If this is your first time here, I post hair, life, vlog videos, lifestyle content videos. And if that's something you want to see, please go check it out after this video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and share some love. And yeah, let's get into the video. This is some must-haves for getting into your traveling era. Getting into your traveling girl era, soft girl era, all of that. For context, okay, let me give you my resume. I'm not trying to show off. I'm trying to tell you that your girl has been around. I've been to Dem Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Mexico, Honduras, Turks and Caicos, Atlanta, Miami, New York. Yeah, this is where I've been. So I have used my suitcases, my luggage, my research. Like, I'm trying to tell you I'm certified for this video. <laughs> certified. But yeah, I'm just going to tell you a few things that I feel like are very beneficial. If you've never traveled before, if you've never been out of the country, if you've never been out of your state, girl, this video is for you. The world is your oyster and i hope that this is helpful and by the way my nose is peeling from a suntan so please if you see my nose looks nasty looks weird please be nice um it has been itching me all morning but let's get into this video okay so first things first listen when you travel people are gonna lose your luggage <laughs> it has not happened to me yet knock on wood and if it does i think i'm gonna fucking break down into tears for like two weeks straight but that's fine but what you can do is this isn't really like a how to travel video but what to buy to travel this isn't a how traveling works video and what happens when you travel so i'm gonna try to refrain from the extra details but basically you're having an air tag on your luggage let me move to the side so that you guys can see what i'm talking about i'm gonna put the items on the screen but having air tag for your luggage really i find is helpful it really calms my sense of anxiety when i'm traveling but basically having an air tag in your luggage you can see when it's with you when it has a right to the airport with you when it's like gone or whatever so i feel like having an airport tag is great and then not saying that tsa is shysty or but there have been some stories we cannot lie and they you know if they go yeah we don't have your luggage and it's like oh that's funny because it says it's here <laughs> so i don't carry any valuables for that to ever happen to me really um but yeah air tags is like really i feel like a secret hidden gem that people don't think about but you should consider it because we me and my boyfriend have done it before and we definitely co-sign that idea okay when it comes to luggages guys if you're going on your first trip get the luggage bundle girl get the one that's the big one and the mini the 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 carry-on and the get it all just if it's a set of three set of two get it don't just get a singular luggage don't be cheap get get a bundle because trust me you're gonna be like damn i wish i got the bundle and i've not regretted that yet and when it comes to material of the luggage, I feel like it really is up to you, your preference. I have been, I've used like the regular standard luggage and the, it's called hard side luggage. Um, hard side all day. Hard side all day. It, I know some people say that it cracks on them. You need to find a good brand and I'm not saying you need to spend a, a thick ass check on anything. Honestly, I got my hard side luggage from Marshalls and Amazon yeah i find that these are great they last longer for some reason in my opinion the other ones just always broke on me <laughs> don't know why and i feel like these ones carry less bacteria like i know it's like girl we can't really control much when your luggage is like going all over the world but i feel like the the fabric ones like they carry they start to get dirty carry bacteria and let me know how the fuck do you clean one of those i know so when the the plastic one gets like a little nasty and dingy i just wipe it down and she's good to go so yeah luggages that's my suggestion and you really don't need to spend so much money on luggage like please don't spend over 200 dollars on luggage 100 to 50 bucks is just fine perfect if you find something for 20 bucks too so travel 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 <laughs> travel cubes okay this is something i stumbled upon a few years ago and i was like okay is this just like consumerism like do we really need plastic separating things in our luggage like it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make a difference um can i tell you as somebody who's an overpacker it makes a huge difference and it's probably contributing to my overpacking because it confines everything it genuinely if you're doing it right 
it is basically these Ziploc bags, if you will, for your clothes. I'm saying Ziploc bags lightly, but it's made out of fabric. But you put all your clothes into it and it confines and organizes your luggage for you. And as somebody, I think it's called type A personality, but I just say I'm a fucking Virgo. The fact that I'd be like, oh my god, I know that all my pajamas are in this cube right here. Just saves me so much stress, time, effort, energy. Love the packing cubes. Are they necessary? No. But do they make everything better and make a difference? Yes. Are they inexpensive? Yes. So why not up upgrade your life or make something easier for yourself for the low? It's a no-brainer. It really is, in my opinion. So, travel size containers. When you're traveling, you it would be nice to bring your whole beauty kits, all that stuff. But you really need to keep it humble when you travel. So bring what you need, leave what you want, and you can get the TSA approved travel size containers. Where, guys, these allergies are killing me. You can get the TSA approved containers where like you take your product, put it in a smaller container, or you can just look up your favorite products in travel size. So either or is great, but on Amazon I will link something here. So I buy a bunch of these and I just decide between travel size product or just putting them over to those but either or works good and I really love that so remember keep that in mind you can't just like oh it's my favorite shampoo big ass shampoo you can't just bring it like you're when you when you travel for the first time or I guess the second time after you learn from the first time you realize like okay I shouldn't have taken up so much space and wasted my 50 pound limit on a shampoo so travel bags, so aside from the luggage, I feel like it's really good to have a nice travel backpack, nice travel purse, you know, whatever's your comfort. I like to do backpack, I'm a purse girl outside of traveling, but I like to do backpack to when I'm going, but when I get to the actual place, you know, I'll, I'll use little purses and stuff, but um, I don't know why I just did that with my head. <laughs> But this is the backpack I love to use. I've owned her for a while. I need a second one. I really don't need it. But um, she's laundry safe. I wash her all the time. <laughs> she's pretty washed out by now. Right here next to me. Right there. Love this brand. And they actually have new padded ones. Because the ones that I got doesn't have a padded um, strap. And I feel like. I don't know if it was always like that. But I feel like people were like. Yeah you need to add a padded strap. Because it fucking hurts. Because it does. So, anyways, this is the backpack I use. I love this backpack. It's pretty stylish. It's like a very, po a very popular one, so I highly recommend it. Or get a purse. Here's a, here's a, here's a, um, a good purse example. Like, I feel like this is really great for all the essentials, but you have to be a big purse girly to like this one. So, it's really up to you. Or unless if you're a air, not a passenger princess, but an airplane princess, and your man is gonna carry all your fucking shit. And I have a lot of shit, so he's not gonna carry all my fucking shit. And I don't blame him. Because if it was him to me, I'd be like, I'm not holding all your damn shit. I got my camera, my phone, my tripods. and Girl, give me a damn break. Speaking of camera, iPod, and all that tech stuff, please make sure to bring your stuff in a pouch. But not only that, I highly suggest against putting it on your, your check-in bag. Because <laughs> like I said, they can't lose your, your carry-on. Now, they could if they're like, oh, we don't have space, so we can need to check it in. That could happen. But for the most part, I keep my tech in my bag. That luggage, that backpack I'm telling you about, I do not play. I don't have money to be playing around like that. So, I keep it on my little backpack. I pack wisely with tech. But always just make sure you also, like, if you're not even a content creator like me, where you're taking all that shit, just make sure you bring a, like, battery pack for yourself, enough chargers. Um, if you're going out the country, make sure to look up what plugins they have and, you know, things like that. But, yeah, that is really it for some essentials you need to get started on your traveling journey oh and when you pack too just like a little a little tip make sure you bring a bag or two for dirty clothes that you accumulate but to also wet clothes so like maybe if you bring your own towel to put your wet towel in there your wet clothes in there you know so just something to keep in mind but thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video i highly encourage you to watch my vlogs because people really really like them those are really the travel vlogs are really the highest viewed ones ones and it's really like guys please look at the other vlogs too i can't always travel and give you a travel vlog now come on thank you for watching i appreciate you for coming today click on this video let me know what was helpful let me know if you already have some of the stuff that i talked about and have a safe flight or trip wherever you're going next
and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.